True Gamer here and I'm back with another episode. Okay guys, if you're having issues, because I found myself having a lot of problems with this, it took me a couple of hours to figure it out. But if you're having any issues with the XEMU emulator, and the issue is it's not reading the ISO, and you keep getting that annoying disk error message, and it just keeps on popping up no matter what you do, well, you need not to worry because you've come to the right place today. So before I get started, first thing you're going to need is your BIOS files, which I gather you already have because I'm not going over that today in this video, but there's plenty of tutorials showing you how to accomplish that on YouTube. We're just here today to resolve that irritating disk reading issue message that just keeps on popping up. Okay, these files, which you see on my screen, the Fable ISO, will not work because it just says ISO. As you see there, let me zoom in a bit more. It just says ISO. So no matter what you do, that will not work because it's not compatible with the emulator. Now that's not the one you want. You want this file. Let me just get it up on my screen. Okay. As you see there, the Halo one, it has the X ISO ISO. So when you see that X ISO ISO, there you go, it says X ISO ISO. Now, once you see that, you have hit the jackpot and nine times out of 10, it will work with the emulator. So if you don't see the X ISO before the ISO, you'll be in big problems because it will not load no matter what you do. So that's the first thing. So make sure you get the correct files downloaded. Now this step is very important guys. For me, I put my XISO ISO ROM on my SD card and it still wouldn't work. In fact, it wouldn't work anywhere where it calls me to have to navigate outside of the XEMU emulator. So, it wouldn't work unless I put my XISO files inside of the application. Now I'm going to show you how to get the application right now. You just hit the Dolphin Manager. You go to Home. Then as you see here, you got the .var folder. Click on it. Then you go to App. Click on it. Then you go to App XEMU. XEMU, click on that, data, XEMU again, XEMU, and then here is where you want to put your XISO ISO. So this is basically inside of the application itself. Now all you do is just copy and paste your XISO ROM into the same place as your BIOS. So this is where you would put your BIOS. And you just paste it just like this. You see there's no folder at all. It's just a single file placed without a folder. Then what you want to do, restart the emulator and hopefully it will boot up straight away without any hesitation. So now I'm back in my Steam library. I'm going to show you it working in all of its glory. So just remember, you put the XISO ISO file in your XEMU application itself and once you've done that it will be guaranteed to work and that's basically where you're going to store all your games so it's going to be in the same folder as where you put your BIOS which you're going to need anyway so without further ado let's boot this baby up and it should work now without no error message oh, I did want to come up there for a brief second so once you're here, guys, and you don't see that long error message in green here, and at the top there, you've got it in white saying to search for a disk, basically, it should just load up like this. And your mission is done.
and the gamepad works perfectly well with this that's what I like don't have to do no mapping or searching for for any text code inputs it just works automatically boot it up before I close down the show there you are so once I've done that guys it will boot every time and if you have more than one game just make a folder for all the other games but always leave one single file isolated in the same folders in the same place as your bios just in case I'm not too sure it, it might still work but I just just to save any hassle I'm gonna do it that way preferably for me but yeah you can trial and error whatever suits you and you're more and, and makes you more comfortable we go ahead and if you want to stop the game and you want to just change it for a different one you just go to machine top left load disk and then you should see another game there in the same folder or the same section and then as you see it there I've got another XISO ISO that's fable and you just launch it should just launch no problem open it there we go you go fable has landed so if you want to stop it I just go there load disk and then switch back to halo simple as that So that's basically it. You see it running smoothly for me now and I hope this video was short and sweet and you reap all the benefits from this magnificent magical Steam Deck machine. Okay guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Even better, subscribe. Till next time, see ya. So where do we stand?